What's up table tennis nerds, welcome back to the Limitless channel. This is Road to 1550 TTR week 15 part 2 starting at Saarbrücken here with Matthias the morning session and yeah he makes me do some backhand openings and yeah those, those are pretty solid if it's not an immense amount of spin I'm good and yeah I can count on them more and more feels good. Also in open game, the forehand top spins, if I if I have good stance, good timing, they're also solid. So definitely happy with my improvement there. Yeah, still still the backspin, backspin is my problem, and when I'm out of position, I'm too late a lot. So these are my main two problems with the forehand right now. Other than that, it improved, definitely improved. Here I'm playing. Um, Forehand, middle, forehand, every, all with the forehand and then one one backhand ball. And then Matthias made me do some, I don't even know the name, but the backhand it's, it's called kicking. So when you answer a, a heavy spin coming in with just a little, a little touch, so that I can see here a little touch. It's also what, what Matthias says, I'm, I'm hitting too much, I have to give it more spin back, I have to work with the spin. And um, this helps a lot, especially when he gives me uh, a top spin on my serve when I do my serve, and he like here, and boom, he gives me uh, here not so much, but the balls he gives me more spin. I have to counter that. I have to work with his spin and kick it back, so to speak. And this helps a lot, and it's also a movement that is really fitting me, fitting my style. So I think it makes a lot of sense to work on it. Yeah, here you can see the open game. It's, it's really getting solid. Backhand or forehand, no problem. And that's also my strength at the moment. And everybody notices it that I play with. And that's good, that's good. Because you face a lot of frustration when you want to get good at something. And so also you have to notice when something is good. Don't hold back with that, it's my opinion. So here you saw it, it in action already. It's also something when I feel something is right away showing up in my in my game when I'm not thinking about it, I know, wow, there is something about this, I have to keep working that. That's really fitting my game. And this is one of the movements that is really fitting my game. So here Matthias gives me some returns to my serve, some receives. So we're just training my system here, which is a huge part of my training lately for now one and a half weeks. And I feel it's, it's making such a big difference. It's making so much sense. It's actually something that comes from Jiu-Jitsu, a systematic approach to <laughs> every position. Every I, I don't want to get too deep on that. If you're interested in that, I can make a whole video about how I understand table tennis looking through the eyes of a of somebody that is relatively high level at Jiu Jitsu. For me it's super interesting, I can talk about this all day long. If you're interested in that, let me know. Next training session, Mittelbach with Amelie. Um, yeah, just playing um, exercises. First one was um, left, middle, left, right side of the table. And um, yeah, Amelie's doing it here. She's very stable, stable with these exercises very solid very good technique and um, then we started doing backspin so we had to open up against backspin I feel like that's something a lot of players struggle with and me included obviously and then we had to attack into our partner's backhand and partners just blocking which is so very good for the open game. Amelie is also her style is also she's very good in the open game, very aggressive. As I mentioned in previous episodes, if you give her the chance, she will attack. So it's also very good to learn to not give easy balls where you could aggre be aggressive, and that's uh, really good to practice against her. Here we are um, either practicing our serve system or already playing sets, and you know what? It doesn't matter anymore because my game system is my match system 
and this to me makes so much sense again this is thinking from jiu-jitsu and why do you train why do you practice because you want to get better in the real situation right and in table tennis that's a match so if my training is exactly what i do in the match it couldn't get any better right at least let me know if, if i'm wrong here but that makes so much sense to me so for and also for the mindset it helps my mindset a lot because a training match or training my system became the same there's no pressure i just train match is just training and now let's get one step further you play a real match you play like you train so you connect the dots here <laughs> i think that's very helpful and also one day my dream is one day to play a match that really counts like it's for a trophy whatever it is for title trophy points for your club whatever and you just go to the table and it's just okay my game against this person's game you don't think about the ref you don't think about the points you don't think about spectators you don't think about failing you just think about my best game my best options against my opponent's game like chess and um, no emotions no distractions just the game and that's my dream to accomplish that so here noah playing sets with him and also as you can see always the same surf guys i always do the same surf and go from there and it becomes a system it becomes a very effective system and i know the spots on the if it would be a map a road map map i know the, the spots i know where to go and that feels really good and also it helps me identify mistakes quicker make less mistakes it's just yeah i really like this this analytic approach systematic approach here I play with Hamad. Uh, didn't play with him in a while and also against him he's all he also loves the open game and loves to attack and smash and yeah as you can see here nice nice backhand from him what i noticed recently is a lot of lower level players have like me included have trouble with a lot of spin and sometimes with my sometimes with my forehand but many times with my backhand when i play slower backhand top spins I can already create good spin and a lot of low level players they block the balls over the table and um, with higher skilled players it doesn't affect them that much if you are able to create much spin that's at least what what i know yeah, I'm, i try to flip um, i like that i that i am way more aggressive than i used to be already I don't try back attacking the balls because it's just I'm training my system, you know, going back to the mindset here. And my system is attack everything I can. I think if you're an uh, attacker in table tennis and you always attack, 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 and sometimes you can't because the other guy's better, uh, attacks better than you or and you have to play a safe ball and then you will get pushed into the defense anyways so you will trade it train that anyways and if it's not your speci speciality it's fine to not train it all the time or be passive all the time you don't have to so yes guys really going well lately the practices and it's a lot of fun too so yeah, if you follow along with, with this journey, please subscribe to the channel, activate the bell and see you soon.